This is the DJI Mic 2, a wireless microphone transmitter that comes with the DJI Pocket 3 Creator Combo. Now, I've made a handful of videos about the Pocket 3, and I've gotten a lot of questions in the comments about the DJI Mic 2 in particular. So I thought I'd do a dedicated video, like a FAQ, answering your frequently asked questions about this microphone. Now, some questions are basic, like how to change the settings, and others are more advanced, like how does 32-bit float work? And can you use the DJI Mic 2 with other cameras? And can you connect two DJI Mic 2 transmitters at once? I'll answer all those questions and more in this video. Let's start with some basics. First of all, does the original DJI Pocket 2 wireless microphone work with the Pocket 3? No, it does not, unfortunately. Number two, how do you connect the DJI Mic 2 to the DJI Pocket 3? Pretty simple, all you have to do is power on the DJI Mic 2 transmitter and go into the Pocket 3 menu. You just swipe down, hit the settings gear icon in the lower left hand corner and hit wireless microphones. Tap on TX1 and hold down the link button until it turns a solid blue. Once it connects, you'll see this screen pop up and it also tells you how much battery life you have remaining on the transmitter. You'll also see green audio levels flashing on the screen to verify that the microphone is connected and also to double check your audio levels as you're recording. Number three, can you monitor or listen to the audio? And yes, you can. All you need is a USB-C connected headphone, which you pop into the USB-C port on the camera and now you can listen to the audio as the camera is hearing it. So this can be really handy to make sure that your audio levels sound the way that you want them to, and also to double check your audio. You can also listen to the playback to make sure that everything sounds good. There's also a monitor volume setting in here so you can change the volume. Number four, how do you change the gain or the mic sensitivity of the DJI Mic 2? Within the Pocket 3 menu, just swipe right to go into the settings and tap on the little transmitter icon. And right down in the middle, you'll see transmitter 1 gain. So tap on that and now you can adjust the gain. You can go all the way up to plus 12 dB or all the way down to negative 12 dB. So this is really good to do in case your microphone feels a little too sensitive, like maybe it's too loud, then you wanna reduce the gain. And if it's too quiet, you wanna up the gain. And this is really gonna vary depending on how loud your subject is. For me, I have a softer voice, so I tend to have to pump my gain up. Versus Martin, he has a louder voice, so we typically have to reduce his gain. By the way, within this section, you can also mute the transmitter and you can also turn the noise reduction on or off. But for noise reduction, there is actually a shortcut, which I'll talk about later on in this section. Number five, does the DJI Mic 2 have onboard recording? Yes, it does. It has eight gigabytes of storage, so it can store about 14 hours of 24-bit audio. And there are two ways to enable it. The first way to enable onboard recording is to go over to the little red record button on the side of the transmitter and just press it until the light turns red. And that means that that the transmitter is now recording audio directly to the transmitter on board. The other way to do it is to go within the Pocket 3. You wanna swipe down, go over to that little gear icon, hit wireless mics, and go over to audio to video sync. So when this is enabled, the camera is automatically gonna record audio from the transmitter, and the transmitter is automatically gonna record the onboard backup audio as well. So this can be really good to have on, like I just keep it on by default because I often forget to turn on onboard recording on my transmitter, so I like to have it on as a default setting. If you ever wanna access those recordings, then you have to plug in the transmitter to a device like a computer via the USB-C port, and then you can access the, all of the audio recordings. And if you ever wanna format this, that is also within the Pocket 3 menu here. You just go all the way down to Format Transmitter. Number six, can you wirelessly charge the DJI Mic 2 transmitter? No, you currently cannot, but I have a feeling that they will soon release some kind of accessory that allows you to do that. Because on the bottom of the transmitter, I see what looks like a magnetic wireless attachment. If I hold it up to the original DJI Mic transmitter, they look really, really similar. So by the way, you cannot stick the Mic 2 transmitter inside of the original DJI Mic charging case. I actually tried that and almost got it stuck. It's a little too big, so it does not fit. You cannot charge it within this charging case, but I suspect that we will soon see an accessory that does allow us to charge this wirelessly. In the meantime, if you wanna charge the Mic 2 transmitter, you have to plug it in via USB-C. And once it's fully charged, it has about six hours of operating time on it. 
Number seven, can you use the DJI Mic 2 transmitter as a remote control for the camera? And yes, you can. So once this transmitter is wirelessly connected to the Pocket 3, you have two buttons here that can control the camera. So the bottom power button is how you can turn on and off noise reduction. This is the little shortcut that I mentioned earlier. And above that is this little link button. So if you press that, it actually controls the shutter on the camera. So you can start and stop recording, or you can even take a photo if you're in photo mode. Number eight, does the Mic 2 transmitter have a low cut filter? Yes, it does. So a low cut filter is handy for cutting out high or low frequencies. And so you can find that within the Pocket 3 menu. You just swipe down, go over to that gear icon, hit wireless microphones and scroll down till you see low cut and just make sure that that's on. I just always have low cut filter on. I can't really think of a time when I want it off. So for me, it's always on by default. Number nine, does the Mic 2 transmitter have 32-bit float and how does it work? Yes, it does have 32-bit float. This was actually something that I think was understated about this Mic 2 when it came out, but it's something that we're seeing on a lot of new wireless microphone systems that are coming out. And it's a pro level setting, but it's really nice because 32-bit float, when it's enabled, it records a wider dynamic range of your audio. So to turn it on or off, it's right below the low cut filter option in the same menu. And I personally have it on all the time. Again, I can't really think of a time when I wouldn't want 32-bit float. And now we've gotten to the section about connecting other microphones to the DJI Pocket 3. So first of all, can you connect a wired lavalier microphone to the DJI Mic 2? Yes, you can. There on top is a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack and you can connect a wired lavalier microphone. You can also connect other microphones like shotgun or directional microphones. I have another video kind of detailing all of the different setups with different microphones you could use. But yes, it is indeed possible. And unfortunately, the DJI Pocket 3 combos do not come with a wired lav mic or any other external microphones. So this is something that you will have to purchase separately. Number 11, do you need the DJI Mic 2 transmitter to connect another external microphone to the Pocket 3? No, you can connect other microphones via USB-C. You can even use other wireless microphones such as the original DJI Mic system or the Rode Wireless Pro or Rode Wireless Go. But the only catch is that if you use these other wireless mic systems, you have to attach the receiver to the camera. And the benefit of using the DJI Mic 2 transmitter is that the receiver is built into the camera but only with this microphone. Number 12, when the DJI Mic 2 transmitter is connected, can you still record audio from the Pocket 3's internal microphones? So I kind of touched on this earlier, but no, you can't. Uh, once the Mic 2 transmitter is connected, that audio track overrides the Pocket 3's internal recording. And so there are some ways around it if you want to split up the audio tracks. Again, I have another video talking about different microphone setups and how you could achieve something like that. But no, you can't do it straight out of the camera like this. And now for two of the big questions. First being, can you use two DJI Mic 2 transmitters with the Pocket 3? Yes, you can, but it is a little tricky to get a hold of the second transmitter because you can't buy it separately. I have two because I have a friend who has the Creator Combo, so I'm borrowing his DJI Mic 2 transmitter. That's how I have two. But if you have two of these transmitters, you can wirelessly connect them. It's basically the same process of connecting one transmitter. You just turn it on, turn the Pocket 3 on, swipe down, go over to that gear icon, hit wireless mics, and you're gonna see that there's a TX1 and TX2. So TX1 is already connected, so now we're gonna connect TX2 just by tapping on it. And same process, we turn the transmitter on, we hold down that blue link button and it's gonna flash a little bit, then turn solid blue, and then we'll get this confirmation screen once the second transmitter is connected. Now after you have two transmitters connected, you can go over to the Pocket 3, swipe right, hit the transmitter icon, and you'll see a couple more settings pop up. You can now choose the channel. It can be mono or stereo audio. If it's stereo, you can choose if the right transmitter is recording to the left channel or the right channel. You can also control the gain of each transmitter on the next level of the menu and also mute each transmitter. And on the bottom, we have noise reduction options for each of the transmitters. But again, you can use the remote function on each transmitter where you just tap on the power button and it will turn yellow if the noise reduction is on and blue if the noise reduction is off. 
Personally, I recommend shooting in stereo audio just so that if one transmitter picks up audio that you don't want, you can easily edit that out. But you will want to make sure to properly edit that video and merge those two tracks to become mono in post-production. Otherwise, you will get this weird thing where if you're wearing headphones or listening to a video of stereo audio, then you'll only hear the audio on one side of the headphones. So it's a little hard to explain, but it's something that you definitely want to make sure to take care of in post-production. And the final question, can you use the DJI Mic 2 transmitter with other cameras? Yes, I actually was very surprised. Someone asked this question in one of the comments of the videos and I jumped the gun and told them no. I'm sorry, whoever that was, uh, because it actually turns out that you can. So it doesn't really work on other cameras like GoPro. I tried it on GoPro, it didn't work. I tried it on my Sony mirrorless cameras and my Fujifilm mirrorless cameras and it didn't work but it did work on my iPhone. So I can wirelessly connect this transmitter to my iPhone via Bluetooth, and it will record the audio for the transmitter. This is an audio test with the DJI Mic 2 transmitter connected to the iPhone 15 Pro. This is an audio test. I think it opens the door that possibly in the future this will work with other cameras besides phones, but right now that's not the case. But still, something to keep an eye on. So those were 14 frequently asked questions that I've had so far about the DJI Mic 2. I hope this was helpful. You know, I do read the comments of all these videos. I am trying to answer them and it's giving me ideas for future videos like this. So definitely leave me a comment below with any questions or comments you have and I will try to get back to you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because I've got more Pocket 3 content. I'm gonna go out and make another guide about how to use it, how to use a gimbal in particular, and also make that settings guide. It will be on the way soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.